Hi everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and I have another um, Silhouette Studio Tips video for you today. I was working on my Project Life book this weekend and just came across a couple of things that I thought would be helpful for you. The first thing I was doing was actually cutting out some images and there were multiple images of the same same thing. Um, I was working on my, my week's page and as I was doing it I was also doing them for my mom as well and I'm using the Curie Bradford um, Life Editions Weekly set that you can get on her uh, purchase from her website and I was using this week right here and cutting them all out um, in one solid color as kind of like my shadow so I'm not really gonna size this to the size I used in my book um, I'm really not even sure I remember what that is but I thought I would show you how to put multiple images of the same image on your mat very easily. So I'm going to select this um, icon or image up here called Replicate Window. And you have this option right here where you can duplicate your image. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my image and I'm going to duplicate it right. And I'm going to go right a couple of times. I think we could fit three across. And then I want to just do a little spacing so I'm going to grab them and move them a little bit and I'm going to kind of purposely move this one down because I want to show you one other thing that you can do. I'm just going to drag my uh, box over so we are select all of them. Now I'm not going to group them together. I'm just going to leave them just the way, the way they are, just selecting them all. And there's an icon on the top here called Align Window. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that button. And there's an option to align top. And when I do that, it aligns everything um, so it's all straight across. So that's another little qu quick trick for you. Um, there's also one where you can align center. You can align them all so they're to the left, to the right, and so on. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and select all of my images again. And we're going to go back over to the duplicate. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate below. And every time we click that, it just adds an another um, row below with your images. So I'm just going to, whoops, this one's not selected. Go ahead and select the three of them. And do the same thing with this one. And I'm just dragging, I'm not really grouping them, I'm just selecting them so they're all together. And now I have these spaced out and I can fit as many as I can on my mat. Another thing I wanted to show you is placement. If you were going to use maybe a couple different types of paper uh, or different color paper or something like that, and you needed to kind of know where on the mat to put your paper, if you go to this first uh, button right here, this is your tools button, and there's a page tool down on the um, right there, where you can go ahead and select to reveal your cutting mat. So you can kind of get an idea where the grid is and where you can line your paper up. Once we click on one of these options, again, your grid will go away, so you do have to keep going back over to the home, the home button, selecting your page option, and showing your grid. Actually, as soon as you do that once, you go back to your page tools, the grid will automatically appear because you already set it to show. Okay, so one more tip I wanted to um, give you goes along with what I said before. If I was going to cut this out, maybe this one I was going to cut out in cardstock and this one in a patterned paper. Um, cardstock can be a little heavier and you want to multi cut this one because it's a heavier cardstock. Instead of having to do this in a whole separate mat away from your pattern paper, which might be a single cut, what you would do is select the images that you're going to multi-cut with or duplicate or whatever you want to call it, um, group them together, just highlight them all together, right click, hit copy, and then right click again, edit the image right on top of it, and it reads that um, twice. So it will go ahead and copy, uh, cut that image twice for you. So that's all of my tips and tricks for today. If you guys want to see anything else, let me know. And I think next week we'll do some printing and cutting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.